Hello everyone and welcome back to the Edge of Deliverance. I think I may have found what I'm supposed to do. Go in here. I didn't have everyone in here. It's gotta be something, right? I'm guessing by those angels. Hello. You don't come after me, good. That makes this easy. Boom. This. Yes. Lots of old tools in here, most of them are broken or rusted. But one of them still looks functional and might be useful. Garden shears. Why do I need garden shears? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna save there. And figure out why I need garden shears. Um, maybe on these flowers. Nope. Nothing with the grave, okay. Good. These flowers. Crap. Nope. May have to jump cut again, cause I'm dumb. Oh. Keys of faith and doubt. The way forward shall be opened. Strange carving on the ground. Hello tree, you look really weird. Something shiny. Copper trinket. Why do I need that? I don't understand. What's with this? Huh? What is this? Garden? Got a copper trinket. Don't know what it's for. Uh, let's look at it. Cover trinket. Crafted into a shape. For what? The carving? Do I stand on that and use it? No. Ah, oh god. I have no idea what I'm doing. This looks odd. In my own house, okay. Something shiny? Yes. Silver trinket? Is that useful? Why would I need this? I came up here once before. But... This. This is like the thing in front of the church. I don't know what it's for though. Okay, so I think I found something. This tree looks weird. Something shiny, of course. Yes. Gold trinket. I'm, I think that was... One of the things to open a door, maybe. I don't know. Oh! Oh! Oh great! Looks like these trinkets we've been collecting. They unlock, snap them together. What order should I put them in? Copper. Silver. Gold. Yes! I think I did it. What is that? This looks like a sort of key. It has to be another one. Let's take it. Okay. Obtained key of the land. Well, that wasn't so bad. Alright, on to the next one. Key of the land, key of the land, key of the land. I don't remember that being needed anywhere, honestly. But I guess I'll look around. Okay. Alright, let's do the land, or. Er, uh, hmm. Land. Ah, crap. Whoa. Oh, I thought I messed something up. Excellent, excellent. What is this? It's really just fall out of the sky? It did indeed. That's a little unsettling. That, no. <laughs> what do you mean? It happens every day. But still, another key is another key. Yep. Exactly. Key of the sky. What was that for? Oh, come on. We're on a roll here. Oh, hey there. 
Angel dude, please don't hurt me. John. John. Hey John, are you awake? Uh, um, yeah, I am now. <laughs> oh, it's blue. Or purple, I can't tell. I'm colorblind. <laughs> Sarah, what happens? You slap all day, that's what happens. I don't think I've ever met someone who could sleep as soundly as you. Well, I've been doing a lot of it for the past two years. I guess I've gotten good at it. What time is it? It's late. The middle of the night. Oh, that's why it's dark. Okay. It's not blueness, it's darkness. But hey, it's not like you have to be up early for anything tomorrow morning. <laughs> so, um... I sort of have something I want to show you. It's outside. Outside? Don't worry, the angels are all gone. It's safe out there. We don't have to go too far. Promise. Uh, okay. I'll go. Awesome! Just follow me, sleepyhead. I will do that. Or, oh, I'm controlling Sarah. Cool. I need to save, though. When I forget to save, it's horrible. Because my record key to stop recording is also closes out of the game, and that's not cool. So, alright, what have we got outside? Oh, controlling again, okay. What exactly am I looking for? This way, maybe, who knows? Um, maybe, I don't know which way to go. I like this mountain. So this is where I'm going. Oh, it was the right way, of course. Wow, it's a great view up here. Isn't it? The sky is beautiful on a clear summer night like tonight. It might sound terrible, but... Being able to see something like this might be the only good thing that came out of the world ending. I mean, the sky never used to look like this here. There was too much light pollution. You could never see the Milky Way and all those stars. That is very true. But now with all the lights out... I realize that from your home in the woods, you wouldn't have been able to see as much of the sky as you can on this little mountain. That's why I wanted to bring you up here. Oh, and I brought some champagne from the back room of the store. Want to join me? No. Not at all. So I got to speak with Cass again, after he caught up to us here. I asked him something. He asked if he would not come up here anymore. If he would just let me, let us, enjoy this place in peace. Well, okay. And you know what? He agreed. He said he would stay away from the top of this mountain. I mean... I don't see why he wouldn't. It's not like you or I could leave town from all the way up here. Huh. <sighs> Do you believe it? Now I'm actually having conversations with... Whatever the hell that thing is supposed to be. I don't know why, but being here, looking out at the stars, it always calms me. I forget for just a little while about everything that's going on. I wonder if there are other worlds out there. And that sea of lights, I wonder if them are... I wonder if any of them are going through what our world is experiencing right now. And sometimes I tell myself that maybe heaven is out there too. That maybe my dad, my mom, everyone. Maybe they're all there, looking down on me as I look up on them. So, tell me about yourself, John. About your life before all of this, about your family. Okay, to be honest, there isn't too much to tell. I've lived all my life in New York City. I was born on the Upper East Side, I grew up an only child, my parents were fairly well off, but worked most of the time, so I never felt too close to them. All I really learned from them was that I had to make money. So I went to law school, and here I am today. A 38-year-old former real estate lawyer. 
I've always been kind of a loner, which is why I got a vacation home up here, so I would have a place to get away from everything when I needed to. I always wondered why a single guy would want to live in that big old farmhouse all by himself. Your life sounds so boring and lonely. Well, that is rude. You know, it's how I live life. Oh god, I shouldn't have said it like that. It's the champagne talking. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's okay. You're not wrong. It took the end of the world for me to finally realize how complacent I had become with living out a dull existence. It's almost funny. I didn't start craving real human interaction until most humans were gone. If you hadn't noticed, I'm even more depressing when I've had a couple of drinks. So tell me more about you. Me? I'm Sarah Donovan, 23 years old, a former college student, current apocalypse survivor. I've lived in this town since I was born. My mom passed away when I was really young, but I was always close to my dad. Before the world ended, I was a senior in college, about to finish my undergraduate degree in social work. It sounds cheesy, but I always wanted to do something with my life where I could help other people. That doesn't sound cheesy to me. It sounds like you have goals and values. <laughs> what? You're really charming in a weird way. What? And now, oh wait, you know, I remember, in one of my last courses in school, the professor was discussing, ugh, I need to talk better, discussing the symptoms of <laughs> clinical depression, and it taught me enough to know that if you and I both have had a bad case of it lately, you'd think so. You bet. I mean, think about it. You spending every day at home, alone sleeping all the time, me going day after day wanting to knock on your gate and say hello to you, but never actually bringing myself to do it. Classic case of two people who had lost any sense of meaning in life. Do you still feel that way now? Believe it or not, it's just the opposite. I'm more determined than ever to find some meaning in this crazy world we're living in. You know... I can think of another good thing that came out of the world ending. Oh? There's no other way I'd be sitting up here, drinking champagne, and watching the stars with someone like you next to me. Sorry if I sound like a jerk, but I'm being honest, I don't think that sounded very jerky. Yeah. Well, hey, don't say stupid things like that. How do you know I'm not just really into bearded loner guys who look sad and dopey all the time? <laughs> so rude. Uh... Okay. Hey. Hey. Good morning. How are you feeling? Good. Maybe a little hungover. Was there really that much champagne? But nothing I can't handle. Okay. Last night was... nice. I bet it was. I guess we should head out whenever we're ready. Those keys won't go finding themselves. Maybe they will. Who knows? Alright, sounds like a plan to me. Oh great, I'm in control again. Okay. I need to end the episode here. So I'm gonna save... So I don't lose all that progress. Like I did last time. <laughs> I had to play through some of it again, but it's not a big deal, because I like the game, so. Whatever. I gotta end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!